Did you know that Pennsylvania's abandoned mine land program responds to an average of 77 AML emergencies per year? Approximately 95% of those emergencies are the result of mine subsidence. When the cover over a mine collapses, mine subsidence damage can occur and impact homes, businesses, roads, utilities, and other features. Pennsylvania spends an average of $3.8 million each year to address these AML emergencies. Funding comes from Pennsylvania's annual abandoned mine land grant, which is derived from fees paid by the active mining industry on each ton of coal mined. The AML program can stabilize the mine to allow repairs to the home to be undertaken. The home must be repaired by the homeowner, and repairs can be covered by mine subsidence insurance offered by the DEP. One such subsidence emergency occurred in November 2018 on Graham Street in Bell Vernon Borough in Fayette County. We had a subsidence issue. These people, there's a gas line here. There's no heat in this house. So these people are basically evacuated from this home. Some temporary work was done across the street to get them gas. So we have to jump on these very quickly. For one reason or another, it, the mine collapsed and uh, we have a sign uh, opening here that has uh, done some significant damage to, uh, to the homeowner's home here. And so what we're here today to do is try to drill into the abandoned mine and then fill it with a grout or concrete-like substance that will prevent future subsidence from occurring. This mine here we're finding to be about 50 to 60 feet deep relatively shallow, so that usually will lend itself to what's called a sinkhole subsidence event rather than a trough subsidence event. Uh, trough subsidence events are usually less severe but bigger. The sinkhole subsidence events, they're very traumatic, surface deformations, you know, and that's where you unfortunately see very, very severe damage to homes like we have in this instance. It started Saturday the 13th. Then each time we came to the house, it kept going down and down and down. The property owner at this point in time, they do not have to pay for any of the ground stabilization work. The Bureau of Abandoned Mine Reclamation and the Office of Surface Mining take care of all the funding for that. So this is a very quick way for us to get in here get this home stabilized and hopefully get these people in a safe environment as quickly as we possibly can. We're saving people's livelihoods. You know, so much of a person's life is their home. It's so meaningful. And, you know, without these types of programs, you can have subsidence events that totally destroy and condemn homes. And people are left with nothing. They're, you know, they're, they're displaced from their home. The investment they have into it is worthless. This is really money well spent saving communities. You know, Pennsylvania is an interesting case. You know, on one hand, you have instances like Centralia, where an abandoned deep mine is causing a fire that has turned the entire community into a ghost town. But then you have the work seen by DEP and the AML program where we're saving communities, we're saving homes, we're keeping people in their homes. That's kind of the choice that we have. We can either not do anything and these mining problems create ghost towns, creating hazardous conditions and making property worthless, or we can use the money set aside through the AML funds to help people and keep them in their homes, you know, prevent dangerous situations like this from happening. Well, it's not a matter of if subsidence is going to happen, it's a matter of when. These old mines, as they age, they're only going to continue to subside and collapse more. That's just the reality of it. I think the AML program is important from a business owner standpoint because, you know, it's job creation. We're employing local people. They live in the communities that we're remediating the mine problems. We're also investing in specialized equipment, you know, capital investments that are pretty significant. And, you know, to hire people to invest big dollars into the specialty equipment, we need to have some certainty of funding. I don't know what I would have done without the Bureau of Abandoned Mines. They did a wonderful job out here, and uh, they worked in the rain, and, and they didn't stop. They just kept on working, and I uh, liked what they did for me. They helped me out an awful lot.